What's up guys, it's that guy with movies back here again, and today's video is going to be part two of combing through my DVD collection and seeing what I can pull out to get rid of if there's any doubles of anything or if there's just anything that I don't want. So uh, we're going to be doing the last half of my uh, DVD collection, which will be all of these three shelves over here, because last video we did the three shelves over there. So now, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a look at um, what I have here to maybe maybe get rid of. Because obviously, up top here, this is all of um, kind of my special stuff up here. Just like really cool stuff that I don't really want to get rid of. Like uh, the Reservoir Dogs Jerry Can, um, the Sin City, Sin Private Ryan, Six Sense, a couple of Criterions up there as well. So I don't want to get rid of any of those, but anyway, let's take a look and see what I have for just regular DVDs, so, um, and we'll also just kind of go through my collection as well, because there's not too much difference, so this will kind of, kind of sort of act as my DVD collection for this year as well. So, um, I just have a pair of 3D glasses here that have been sitting there for <clears throat> a couple years, so I'll just move those over to this shelf. Uh, I have a Spider-Man Funko Pop here, it's him crouching with, uh, his phone right there. So there's that, and then a sealed pair of 3D glasses, which we'll go over there. Alright, let's take a look at the first shelf. So, um, Lethal Weapon, I'm going to keep all those, of course. Those are all the director's cut versions of those. Um, Little Giants, should I keep this? Um, maybe I will, because it's a sport one. I still have yet to do my sport movie collection. Uh, what's this, The Last Waltz? It's a Martin Scorsese one, but... I don't know, Bob Dylan, Neil Young, Joni Mitchell, Neil Diamond, Ringo Starr. Uh, I might put that one aside to maybe get rid of. I don't know, I'm not really too interested in that. Uh, Little Monsters, I think, is out of print, so I'm going to keep that. Um, here's a really underrated movie here, Lost in America. If you guys have not seen this one, and if you're an Albert Brooks fan, uh, I definitely recommend checking this one out. This is a great movie here. Um, Lady Killers, that's Tom Hanks movies, so I have to keep that. Uh, The Lost Worlds, which is a really cool little set here. Um, that actually has the original one, the 1925 version, so that's a pretty cool set right there. Um, Lawrence of Arabia, gotta keep that because it's a super bit. Uh, Las Vegas was pretty funny, I like that. Um, LA Confidential, which is one I just recently upgraded. This is the two-disc special edition for that. So I could finally get rid of my other copy of that. Uh, there's La Bamba because I showed the Buddy Holly story in the first video. Um, I absolutely love that movie. Just such a fantastic movie. Very underrated. Uh, the Longest Day, which is another one of those uh, cinema classics collection, they call it. Um, I'm not seeing too much else here that I want to get rid of on the first shelf here. Lean on me. Uh, another Dragon Dynasty one. Gotta keep those. That's number 24 from those. Um, here's one that I could get rid of, The Last Stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is one that I thought would be, like, really up my alley. Like, I thought I really liked this one because I love these dumb action movies and I uh, really like Arnold Schwarzenegger as well, but this just wasn't good at all. I didn't like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, other than that, I think I'm actually keeping all of these ones up here. Uh, Legends of the Fall, that's a super bit one, so I gotta keep that. And anyway, though, that's it for the first shelf. So now let's go on to the second shelf. And there's some more stuff that I have here. So this is my Dark Knight Steelbook, which is signed by one of the executive producers of the movie, signed back in 2011. So that's really cool. So I've got to keep that. Um, and then I have, uh, this is just like a little John Wick Chapter 3 little promo thing that I found at a comic book store. So I'm going to keep that. And then there's a King Leonidas action figure. I just think that's cool, so I'm going to keep that. Anyways, let's take a look and see what's down here. The first little bit, I'm not seeing anything too much that I want to get rid of. Just some James Bond ones, Malcolm X, uh, Mission Impossible, Maverick Mars Attacks, My Boyfriend's Back, I think that one's out of print, My Blue Heaven. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything so far that I do want to get rid of uh, Mask of Zorro, another super bit I gotta keep. I should probably get around to doing another super bit collection. I uh, just haven't really thought about it recently. Uh, Minority Report, such a great movie. Here's another one that I can get rid of, Mr. Destiny. 
probably not going to watch this one, so that one can probably go ahead and uh, get out of my collection. In the mean season, uh, probably would not have kept this, but Kurt Russell's in it, and I do like Kurt Russell, so I'm going to keep that. Uh, my Science Project, I think that's out of print. Uh, Mighty Ducks, Million Dollar Arm, I think that's it for this shelf here. So, once again, not too much, so I'm just going to go ahead and put all of this stuff on that level there. Um, and then I have my River Runs Through It Digibook, plus my Dirty Harry Digibook, so just move those up there. And now let's take a look and see what I have down here. Uh, Money for Nothing, I've heard is supposed to be pretty good. Misery, such a great movie, I love that one. Miracle, Mortal Kombat, uh, Men in Black, which I think I bought the first one on Superbit. So that one's kind of out of place there. Maximum Overdrive, which is pretty underrated. Um, my only Mad Max movie on DVD. Or actually, I think I have the World War Year 2. I think it's under R. Um, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Once again, I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I could get rid of this one, Mobsters. Uh, with Christian Slater, Richard Grieco. Um, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't heard too many great things about this one, so I might just go ahead and get rid of that. Um, Meatballs, which is an HBO one. Me, Myself, and Irene, which is a pretty good movie. Um, Men with Brooms, that one can go. <laughs> uh, I'm probably never going to watch that. Uh, My Soul to Take. Mystic River, which has, which is the three-disc deluxe edition, which has the soundtrack and everything. It's a really nice set. I think I actually got that sealed as well. Uh, Matrix Reloaded, Matrix Revolutions. i got to keep those ones. Um, Money Train. The Mist, which has... This is the two-disc collector's edition that has the black and white version on it. Uh, another Jet Li movie, Mrs. Doubtfire. I've got to keep that. Uh, My Cousin Vinny, Mystery Alaska. My BFAT Greek Wedding, which both of those weren't too bad. Um, Nightcrawler, if you guys want to watch a really good movie, I would really recommend Nightcrawler. This is a fantastic one right here. Uh, Nashville, I could probably get rid of that, and uh, not without my daughter. So now let's go ahead and take a look on what's on this shelf here. So you have this big BBC History of World War II, which is a really nice 12 disc set. It's ginormous, but it's a really nice set. And uh, another criterion that I have in my collection, which is Pants Labyrinth. I got this one sealed at Goodwill for like three bucks, which is a great deal for a criterion. I wish I found more stuff like that. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look and see what I have on this shelf here. Uh, there you go. There's next Friday. As I was talking about that in part one, uh, why I have Friday and Friday after next, which are one and three. But I don't have next Friday, which is the second one. Um, that's because that's right there. Uh, Never Say Never Again, which is a pretty good one to uh, grab if you go thrifting and if you find it at a store. This one's a pretty good one to grab if you um, want some extra cash because people are willing to buy this one. Um, even if you sell for, I don't know, like 10, 15 bucks on eBay, um, people want this one because this one is pretty hard to find. It's an unofficial James Bond movie. I don't think it's officially recognized in James Bond canon. It's essentially, I think, a remake of Thunderball. So, uh, that's why I have that in my collection. I think mine is actually, yeah, mine's complete as well. It has the booklet in there. A lot of the ones I find aren't complete. It don't have the booklet in it. Uh, Next of Kin, New Jack City, Naked Gun, I like all three of those. Uh, Navy Seals, The Natural, I gotta keep that because that's a sport one. Um, the Name of the Rose, another Sean Connery one. I think this one's out of print, so I might also get rid of this one. I think Christian Slater is in this as well. Yeah, he is. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one just doesn't really seem like something that I would want to watch, so I might go ahead and get rid of that. Napoleon Dynamite, which has one of the best slipcovers ever. That is hilarious. Number Before Christmas, Need for Speed, which was actually pretty good. A um, couple of the vacation ones, uh, Vegas Vacation, uh, but that's in the V section. A Night of the Living Dead, this is the original 68 version, the uh, Elite Entertainment one, Millennium Edition. And then this is the remake from 1990, which is in color. Uh, both of the Nutty Professor movies, the Jerry Lewis one and then the Eddie Murphy one. I don't have the clumps. Um... Pretty much all of the Nightmare, I think this is actually all of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies besides the newest one, which I might go ahead and throw in there. But yeah, this is all of them up to New Nightmare. 
Uh, Nobody's Fool, starring Paul Newman. I think I might go ahead and get rid of this one as well. That doesn't seem like something that I would be interested in watching. The Negotiator, Necessary Roughness. The Others, if you want a fantastic movie, I really recommend that. Uh, one Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And Opportunity Knocks. Uh... Yeah, this is probably something that I wouldn't want to watch. So there's some good amount of space freed up there. And then the last thing I have on uh, this last shelf here is the Repo Man tin that I got a couple years ago. So that's a really nice set there. All right, let's take a look at this shelf here. Just pull it back a bit so you guys can see the titles. Um, Out to Sea, I think, is out of print. One Crazy Summer, I think, is... Uh, but I'm going to keep all those. A couple super bits on this level. The one and Once Upon a Time in Mexico. Got to keep those ones. Um, some more James Bond. Uh, Operation Condor. Some Jackie Chan goodness there. Open Water. Um, so far, not seeing anything I want to get rid of. The Outsiders. Philadelphia. Both versions of Payback. Um, I would probably get rid of this one if they were the exact same DVD. Because this one is, I think, longer. Yeah, it's 101 minutes. So this one's longer. This one's shorter. This is the straight up the director's cut. This one's only 90 minutes. So there's like 10 minutes cut out of the movie. And uh, yeah, that's basically why I have to keep those. Because it's an alternate version of that. Um, just some more Elvis ones. Some classics. Parts of the Caribbean. The only one that I have. That's just the regular version of that. Um, again, I'm not seeing anything on this shelf that I want to get rid of. A Perfect Getaway, The Program, Punisher, Punisher War Zone, uh, Pure Country, Point of No Return, The Proposal, Parenthood. Yeah, I don't see anything on this shelf that I want to get rid of. So that's it for this whole big shelf right here. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at this shelf here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next shelf here. So I'm going to go ahead and move all of my stuff here. So I have this um, Hulk figure. It's kind of just like a regular action figure, but it's uh, done up to look pretty cool, like with the veins and everything. So I'm going to keep that, of course. And then this Thanos action figure here looks pretty cool. It's just kind of a cheapy one, but I just like it. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see what I have on this shelf. So... You might have noticed that I had, um, I think, the Robert England version of Phantom of the Opera. This is the Gerard Butler version, like, more kind of a serious one. Uh, like, more of a serious adaptation, not like a horror movie like the other one is. Um, play It to the Bone, I think that's a sport one, so i got to keep that. Pay It Forward, Pass the Glory, Professionals, Planet Terror. I should probably get the steelbook of that and see if they have that anywhere. Uh, Pink Cadillac, that's a Clint Eastwood one. Another Cinema Classics collection, Patton, so gotta keep that. Uh, <laughs> I think here's one I could probably live without, Pootie Tang here, uh, which I think is out of print, so hopefully I can probably get, you know, not too bad amount for that. Um, the Prestige, The Pianist, Peter Pan, Powder Blue, Phenomena, Anchor Bay Collection, Dario Argento. Uh, Purple Rain, Producers, Psycho, Psycho 2, Psycho 3, so I have most of the Psycho ones. Um, Planet of the Apes, so we have the original one, and then we have the Tim Burton one, the remake. And of course, you got to have Predator in your collection, so this is a Collector's Edition number 15. And then they never did one um, for Predator 2, this is just a two-disc special edition of that. Um, Pitch Black, one of the Riddick ones, you got to keep that. Point Break. Um, as much as I, like, I don't really care for Point Break, it's just I feel like something i got to have in my collection. Uh, Quiz Show, which I've heard is pretty good. The Quick and the Dead, Quigley Down Under. Quantum of Solace, which is a 2 disc special edition that I got recently. Uh, another Raging, Raging Bull, one of my favorites of all time. If you haven't seen Raging Bull, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, the Rainmaker, and then finally Real Genius. So... Uh, that's the only movie that I have on this shelf that I want to get rid of. Or maybe I guess I can maybe live without Quest for Fire. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, let's take a look and see what we have down here. So there's another pair of 3D glasses plus my Matrix Digibook. Which is actually really nice. And uh, yeah, let's take a look and see what I have here. So I've got some classics. Rubble Without a Cause, Rear Window, which is the Universal Legacy Series release of that. Uh, Red Heat, another Schwarzenegger one, actually two Schwarzenegger ones here, Raw Deal as well. 
uh, Resident Evil, Apocalypse, Extinction, I don't even know what order these even go in. I don't have all of those ones yet. Uh, Risky Business, The Rundown, if you haven't seen The Rundown, I'd highly recommend checking that one out. Uh, Ray, uh, here's one I could uh, probably possibly get rid of, Romantic Comedy with Deadly Moore. I think this one's out of print, so I could probably get rid of that one for, um, you know, a little bit of money. Rocky Horror Picture Show, you gotta have that in your collection. Raising Cain, uh, Ratatouille, Remember the Titans, Robin Hood. Uh, we got Prince of Thieves right here, the extended version. And then I have right beside it, Men in Tights. So I, I usually like to have kind of related movies if they're like within the same alphabetical range. I like to have like related movies beside them. So yeah, like I said, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. And then we have Robin Hood, Men in Tights right there. Uh, Reindeer Games, Red Eye, um, I should probably keep Red Eye because that's uh, Wes Craven one. Ricochet, which is a really good movie. If you guys haven't seen that one, I'd highly recommend checking that out. Uh, Riddick, Running Scared, Rockstar, which is really entertaining. Um, the first three Rambo movies, I have the other two on Blu-ray. Uh, Reanimator, which is one you don't see too often. Reality Bites, Romeo's Bleeding, The Relic, and then Red Sparrow. So just the one movie from that shelf. And now if we go down here, I have my Avatar Extended Collector's Edition um, or, um, box set here, which still gets a crazy amount of views on my channel. And then, of course, I think one thing that every single DVD collector should have, I know there's like other Blu-rays that are out of it, but um, look long and hard for Song of the South to add to your collection because it's never going to go on Disney+. Plus. It's never going to get an official Disney release. This one's a bootleg. I think it's... Um, it's a VHS transfer, I believe, so it's not the greatest quality, but, you know, it's it's Song of the South in my collection. You know, if you're a movie collector or if you love movies, you got to have Song of the South, at least, in some format in your collection. All right, let's take a look down here. Uh, the Right Stuff, Rising Sun, Romeo and Juliet, Rollerball, Reno 911, Ringu. So, once again, another case where I have two related movies, so I have... Uh, Ringu here, which is the original Japanese ring. I believe it's Japanese. And then we have the American ring right there. Um, Ready to Rumble, which is something that I don't have very much interest in. Uh, actually, I don't have very much interest in it, but it is a sport movie, so i got to keep that. Uh, the Replacements, Remo Williams, Rain Man. I should probably upgrade my copy of that. Uh, Reservoir Dogs, I'm... I'm pretty sure the Jerry Can set and these versions of them have the exact same extras. I was going to collect these, but I just have no need for them because I basically own the same movie three times. So uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of those because, like I said, I don't have any need for them. Uh, Rudy, which is great. Red Corner. Um, the Rage Carry 2. Um, maybe I'll keep that just to... Um, have most of them, Red Dawn, Ride Along, Rules of Engagement, Rush Hour, uh, Shocker, which is a really underrated, was Craven movie, Shot in the Dark, which is a Pink Panther one, uh, The Shadow, Star of Echoes, Sleepless in Seattle, I don't see any other ones that I want to get rid of on there. Now if we go down here, I have uh, To Kill a Mockingbird on the Legacy series, again, such a great movie, I like that one a lot. And then we have the 30th Anniversary Special Collector's Edition for Saturday Night Fever, which has like the really nice looking slipcase there. I'll go ahead and put it over there. Okay, let's take a look and see what I have here. Some of All Fears, Surrogates, A Stranger is Watching, which I believe... Was this? Or no, I think I'm confusing it with something else. Uh, I thought that was Tom Hanks' first movie, because I know his first one was a horror movie. But that's not the one, I don't think. Um, both versions of Scarface. So we have the original 30s version. And then the 80s one with Al Pacino. Uh, the Shining. Gotta have The Shining in your collection. Here's another one I can get rid of. Shawshank Redemption. You're probably thinking, you're out of your mind for getting rid of this. It's such a great movie. Why are you getting rid of it? I just recently upgraded it to Blu-ray. So I technically don't need the DVD anymore. So I can go ahead and... Um, get rid of that one there because I have the steelbook of it now so I have no need for the DVD and I'm sure all the special features on that DVD 
are already on the Blu-ray, so I don't need it. Um, Scrooge, which was a Christmas movie that I did not really care for. I thought I would have liked it a lot better than I did, but oh well. Uh, Sign, Singing in the Rain, uh, Sandlot, which is really good. Santa Claus, um, that actually, I should switch this around because this is Santa Claus the movie. So I'll probably go ahead and put that there because that's kind of like Santa Claus movies. So I know I have some space to put uh, Santa Claus 3, the Escape Clause, right there. Um, Sons of the Lambs, this is a really nice looking collector's edition of that. Swimming with Sharks. Uh, most of the Superman quadrilogy with... Christopher Reeve, I don't have Superman 4 yet, which I've heard by all accounts is absolutely terrible. Uh, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights, Stranger, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, which is a really underrated one there. Spaceball, Strange Brew, um, Spider-Man, which I I keep both versions of because this has just a whole swack of bonus features on it. And this one is the Super Bit version, so I keep those. And I have the Super Bit version of Spider-Man 2 as well. I actually have all three of them on Blu-ray. Serpent in the Rainbow, Send Impact, Snake Eyes, and then Silver Streak. So now let's take a look down here, which is the last shelf for this big shelf here. Uh, we have the Criterion Collection of Akira Kurosawa's Seventh Samurai. And then we have the uh, T2, the Ultimate Edition DVD, which, you know, I gotta keep that. Alright, so let's take a look down here. Um, some kind of wonderful, here's my big huge saw collection, so I technically have to keep these ones because, um, they all release them on different versions, so this is the original saw, and then we have the uncut edition of saw, and then that's the uncut saw 2, or the theatrical saw 2, uncut saw 2, uncut saw 3, I don't have theatrical saw 3. Uh, director's Cut of Saw 3, uh, Theatrical Saw 4, I don't have Uncut Saw 4, I don't think. Um, I don't have Theatrical Saw 6, but I do have Uncut Saw 5, though. So technically, that collection is not complete yet. Uh, Silver Bullet, Snatch, which is Super Bit, Skin Deep, which used to be worth a lot of money. I don't think it's worth a lot now. Uh, some of the Shaft ones, I think I'm missing Shaft in Africa. Uh, Shock Treatment. The Skulls, Sabrina, Searching, South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, Showdown in Little Tokyo, which was pretty dumb. I don't want this one in my collection anymore. Look at that, 78 minutes for a movie. That is super short for an action, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. <clears throat> uh, see No Evil, Hear No Evil, Spies Like Us, um, Stroker Ace, which is like a Burt Reynolds one. I don't know if I want that anymore. Uh, Step Brothers, Save, A Simple Plan, Slapshot, uh, Sharky's Machine. That, that one might not be too bad, so I'll probably keep that. Switch, Soul Man, Silverado, Sinister, which is a fantastic horror movie. Um, Slumdog Millionaire, Switchback, <laughs> Showgirls. I think everybody's got to have Showgirls in their collection. I think I got that one for... Um, at the Ryu Center, I think. I should probably go back there and see if they have anything, but yeah. <laughs> I have Showgirls in my collection, which is, I don't know, a, you know, something that maybe not a lot of people can say, but um, Shredder, which is another one I can probably get rid of, just this really dumb horror movie, so that can go. Uh, Superstar and SNL movie, Stir Crazy, The Stupids with Tom Arnold. Um, yeah, maybe I'll keep that and Summer School, which is a pretty great movie there. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what I have on this shelf here. All right, very last shelf here. And um, I was kind of doing some looking beforehand. And uh, this one might not be too bad because I don't have too much stuff to go through here. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. So I have some more trinkets here. My ghost face candle. Um, it's a pretty teeny tiny candle, but I just have it on here because it's cool. Uh, and then I have another Iron Man figure. This one's just a lot smaller. Actually, I'll go ahead and put all this stuff over here. And uh, this is the first stuff that I have on the shelf here. I think I might be keeping all of these. Uh, not too much to really talk about on the shelf, but uh, Starship Troopers, that's a super bit. I have most of the Star Trek ones, um, like in these collector's editions. I'm just missing, as you can see here. 
um, Wrath of Khan, Final Frontier, First Contact, and Insurrection for like the thick case collector's editions. Uh, all the Star Wars movies right there. I was thinking of putting the original trilogy in my like miscellaneous ones, but because um, it's a double fe or it's a multi feature set, but I just want all the Star Wars movies to um, be together. And then I have just a random Tales from the Hood here, which I think used to be worth quite a bit. So I'll probably go ahead and keep that. And then I have my Platinum series, like kind of special edition of Seven, which is a fantastic movie. And then I have a little Spider-Man action figure right there. I have the Fist series of Tombstone, which is the director's cut, Tommy Boy taking care of business, um, which is something that I'm probably not going to watch, so that can go ahead and go. Uh, Thin Red Line, Thunderball, uh, Tucker, The Man in His Dream. If you guys want a pretty underrated movie to watch, I would highly recommend Tucker, The Man in His Dream, if that's available on any streaming services. Uh, Top Gun, you got to keep Top Gun in your collection. Tomorrow Never Dies. Uh, 13 Ghosts, more Terminator, so we have the special edition of Terminator, which um, I just basically keep because of the cool packaging. And of course, because it is my favorite movie, I have the Extreme Edition of uh, T2, so gotta keep that. And then Terminator 3, Time to Kill, Toy Soldiers, Tales from the Dark Side, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, That Thing You Do, which is an excellent movie. Uh, here's one that I can get rid of, Taffin with Pierce Brosnan, which uh, I probably won't ever get around to. So that one can go. Train Places, Top Secret, uh, Trapped in Paradise, that one can probably go too. Uh, this is Spinal Tap, Toys, which I think might still be out of print because I don't think this is on Blu-ray anywhere. Tequila Sunrise, They Live, Tango and Cash, Thinner. 13 Days, Tai Chi Master, which is number 30 for the Dragon Dynasty ones, True Lies, Tears of the Sun, Thumb and Louise, Three Migos, actually all those can stay. I have the special edition of Seabiscuit right there, plus the limited edition for Schindler's List. And now if we take a look at this shelf, uh, Tremors, Trick or Treat, Towering Inferno, True Stories, um with the talking heads uh, that can go. Uh, all three transporter ones, Tower Heist, Twilight Zone, the movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is a really nice, uh, like big deluxe set there. True Crime, Twin Warriors, another Jet Li movie. Uncle Buck, Unbreakable, Under Siege, both of those. UHF, Up in Smoke, U571, Unlawful Entry, uh, Under the Cherry Moon with Prince, Underworld, which is the uh, super bit version. I still don't have Underworld Evolution yet. Those are the only two Underworlds I've seen. Uh, Rise of the Lycans, Awakening, Universal Soldier, uh, Usual Suspects. Now if we go down here, which is the last two shelves of my collection, we just have the Terminal, the three disc limited edition that I got recently. Um, Urban Cowboy, Varsity Blues, V to a Kill, uh, Virtuosity, Vice Versa, Vampires, uh, Super Bits, Victory, uh, which is a movie that I did not like, so that one can probably go. Vegas Vacation, V for Vendetta, which is the really nice uh, limited edition set with the comic in it. Virus, which at first supposed to be pretty terrible, so that one can probably go. What Women Want, What About Bob, Walking Tall, uh, The Watcher with James Spader, well, actually, I, I like James Spader, so that one can stay. Uh, White Sands, which means may come. Weird Science. White Boy Rick with Honors. I think all of these ones can probably stay, except for maybe We Bought a Zoo. Matt Damon and Scarlett Johansson. Um, watched this one when I was younger, and uh, I didn't like it, so that one can probably go. Uh, both of the Wayne's World ones, yeah, all those can stay. And now if we go down here, we have most of the wrong turn movies except for five. Uh, Warriors, Wanted, I think all of these ones can stay. Jackie Chan, Who Am I? Uh, Wedding Crashers, Who's Harry Crumb, What's the Worst That Could Happen? Uh, we Were Soldiers, Without Limits, White Earp. I think actually most of these can stay except for Zero Dark Thirty, which I just recently uh, bought on Blu-ray, so I don't need the DVD anymore. 
And uh, yeah, or, or actually, there's one more movie here, Yellowbeard. Um, it's technically kind of sort of a Cheech and Chong movie because it's got both of them in it, but uh, I have no interest in this, so I'm probably going to go ahead and get rid of that. And uh, yeah, anyway though guys, that is about it for this uh, selling my collection video. So it's just something a little bit different. So um, hope you guys enjoyed both of these videos. And um, you know, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Instagram and Twitter links will be in, in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. The link for that will also be down below in the description of this video as well to check out what I've been watching recently. Also, if you're new to my channel or if you're already subscribed, be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos. A new video every Tuesday and Friday. So anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.